Guy Berhofstadt has used Lord Frost's impending departure from Boris Johnson's government as a stick to bash Brexit Britain. The leading Europhile quickly reacted to news the Brexit secretary was leaving his post after reportedly becoming disillusioned with the government. He tweeted, Lord Frost resigns. Brexit secretaries come and go, but the same challenges and failures won't go away. His post quickly garnered a lot of reaction, with many Brexiteers blasting his comments. Margaret Woods tweeted, Brexit was a success and the EU hates that. There will be no going back. Paul Eric wrote, Guy, your own team is predicting the collapse of the EU, unless you seek to force through legislation against the will of the people of Poland. This theme runs through the core of your agenda, hence the UK left. User Nostradam posted, it's got nothing to do with you. Worry about your own mess in the EU. Meanwhile, Anthony Bryce said, perhaps the EU could stop weaponizing the knee Northern Ireland border. That would be nice, wouldn't it? And the EU accusing the UK of failures? Give me a break, guy. Got no gizmo wrote, Guy, why are you still so interested in UK politics? UK is no longer in the EU and need not be your concern. Many EU member states have problems and your gang are inept and useless at responding to them. Best answer is to stop paying for your clownish, superfluous EU commission. Lord Frost's resignation was a bitter blow for Mr Johnson's beleaguered government. The close ally of the Prime Minister reportedly handed in his notice amid concerns about the current direction of travel of his government. This reportedly included disagreements over its COVID policy, Mr Johnson's net zero pledges and the raising of taxes in the latest budget. It came just days after more than 100 Tory MPs rebelled against the government to oppose Mr Johnson's latest COVID curbs. The Prime Minister was forced to rely on the support of Labour MPs to get his measures passed despite commanding an 80-seat majority in the House of Commons. Labour's deputy leader, Angela Rayner, said the resignation suggested the government was in total chaos right when the country faces an uncertain few weeks.